An all-star cast of more than 40 actors, musicians and comedians have joined forces to pay tribute to former Beatle George Harrison in the first ever music video for his hit song, My Sweet Lord, What a Cracker It Is, and still is. The likes of Ringo Starr, Mark Hamill, Fred Armisen and John Hamm are among the star-studded cast enlisted to celebrate the song's 50th anniversary. Here's a bit of it. And joining me live now is the music video's director, Lance Bangs. Lance, you must have had a lot of fun making that music video. It's a great idea. And the fact that you've just got so many great cameos taking part. Yeah, it was a remarkably fulfilling process making the video. Uh, we shot it back in August in Los Angeles where, you know, the, the county and the region was under a pretty heavy uh, COVID restriction. And so for a lot of people involved, it was the first time that they were sort of coming out of being in, in seclusion or keeping mm. to themselves. And because of their love or friendship with George, they wanted to take part in whatever way was safe. And so we would sort of clear off an area or film people outdoors or, you know, work within every sort of uh, guidance we could to to involve people who wanted to be part of it, but to respect the uh, the conditions that were going on around us. Well, well, George has been gone for, what, 20 years now? This 20 years, song, yeah. yeah, 20 years. I mean, this song is now 50 years old. And now here we are watching this new video and it features a, a bunch of huge stars in it too. So, so what is it about it? Is it George or is it the song that makes this so kind of timeless? George really tapped into something with this particular song. It was, uh, it was an important one that, that meant a lot to him when he was putting it together. And, you know, it was written during that sort of time period that's seen in that film, Get Back, that's, that's being celebrated currently. Mm. Um, and, you know, recorded and released in... 1970 with Ringo drumming on it, a lot of other good people that were important in his life performing on it. And it went to number one at that time. It was the first number one song by any member of the Beatles once the band was no longer a going concern. And then it went back to number one in the UK uh, 20 years ago, uh, shortly after he passed. And so it's a song that's that's been part of our lives and mm. certainly for me growing up was something that was always around and having an opportunity to finally have the first video or visual film that goes along with it was was exciting for everyone involved. Whose idea was it? Uh, Danny Harrison, uh, George's son, and mm. their manager, uh, David Zonshein, had gotten a lot of treatments from people about, like, you know, they knew it was time to make a video for it. It was the 50th anniversary, but nothing that was being submitted really fit the mood or the sort of spiritual undercurrent that was important to George in the song. George had a lot of a sense of humor in a lot of the videos that he made when he was overseeing them. Mm. Uh, he worked very closely with the guys in Monty Python. And so we came up with an idea that would sort of represent people that were searching or looking for something and not quite seeing the metaphysical that's all around them. Ideally, that's coming through from the song itself. Like if you hear a guitar strum or a string, that's represented in a piece of motion or something that, that these mm. people are not seeing. And once we started filming it, everyone that loved George, either that were you know friends and contemporaries of his, Ringo Starr is in it, Jeff Lynne is in it, and then younger people that sort of are known for loving George or his music all wanted to be part of it in some way and, and turn up and, and be filmed how they could. Yeah. And you got Weird Al running the candy bar. <laughs> yes, yeah. <laughs> Again, like once the momentum was going and we had all these people and there was a, a kind of a beloved movie theater called the Vista that had been shut down and dormant during all of COVID. And a lot of people who live in that neighborhood, you know, the fact that we got access to go into that building and be back inside it and film and project footage of George that had not previously been seen mm. on the screen there was also part of what drew everyone to uh to want to come out and be involved. Well, well done. Uh, it's very creative. It's, it is well done, as I mentioned there. Lance Bangs, you are the director and you've done a great job there. And uh, if nothing else, it's just, a, it's just a, a great excuse to go back and listen to a timeless classic. Thank you, Lance. Absolutely. There's some great Australian actors in there too. Angus Sampson, Claudio Doherty. We're all uh, there. Australians are represented. All right. Thank you, Lance. We'll talk to you soon. Thank you.